What's going on everyone? I hope you guys are doing well. Um actually um it's a very exciting week for me and busy as well. So but welcome to today's tutorial and um you guys already saw what we'll be doing today. We'll be doing that kind of freeze frame type stuff. Um a lot of people have really asked for this, so I thought this would be a perfect time uh to get this going. Um so this is kind of a two-way kind of tutorial, like there's one with you having your camera just fixed so you have um either your camera or your phone whatever you're shooting with on a tripod so that means the camera is not moving at all or someone is actually like filming you so the camera is moving but for today's tutorial we'll be doing just the one with just the tripod so um let us jump on after effects let me show you guys how to go about it and uh We'll look forward to the next tutorial. This is what we'll be creating, as you can see, but um, I already started a new composition here as for what we'll be working with. So this is just another portion of the video, just to make it easier. Um, so you can see I'm just going left to right and just turns around. So what you want to do is you already have your base uh, footage right here. I'm just going to rename it to um base plates so that's your original footage right so what you want to do now is you want to create markers so markers will just be spots where you want the freeze framing to happen so for example you see right here so let's say you want this right here so those are the spot that we want to just kind of give us a mark so let's say i go from there I rock back let's say right here let us create a marker so your marker is right here to your right just click on it you can see it will create a marker there let's look for another nice spot maybe right here let's create another marker so marker 2 let's look for another nice spot I don't want to be too too much let's see maybe here let's create another marker and let's do one last one okay, maybe maybe here let's do this okay so now we already have all our markers so now what we want to do is since we already know we want four freeze frames, I'll duplicate the footage four times. So one, two, three, four. So we already have that. So don't forget the blaze plate is just the actual footage. So you don't have to worry about that. So you can just lock that. So I've locked that. So now uh, for our first free, freeze frame, blah, 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 blah. let us go to it right there, uh, which is the first. Let's just turn off the eye of the rest so the first one that we're working with let's just rename it image one image one so now this is what we want to do our freeze frame right so what you want to do is right click on your footage go to time go to freeze frame so now you've frozen the frame so now that you've frozen the frame this is where the magic happens now you want to go up here and look for your uh want to look for your mask too this is weird how come i can't see my max too well anyways because i know the shortcut for my max too i'll just press g so for those of you i'm sure you will have it but for the sake of this story i don't want to start going over all the technical stuff now so just press on g either on your mac or pc you're gonna see this mark ah sorry mask icon here so let us zoom in I'm going to change my resolution to full so that I'll be able to um, to do my masking properly. So now let us start masking. But not to waste your time, I'm just going to follow the masking process so uh, you do the same thing. Okay, now 
I just finished the masking right there. As you can see, I already have myself all maxed out. So now this is a layer of its own. If I isolate it right there, you can see I'm just there by myself. So where the magic also happens or to further the magic is now, you know, because you froze the frame, you see myself just all the way through the footage, but we don't want that. So what we want is we just want from from the beginning of the clip to right here. So now we need to cut out all the other uh, portion of it that's supposed to be showing so that it creates that nice effect that we're looking for. So I'm just going to hold on Alt and bracket close right there. And before I play it, I'm just going to feather out my mask. So now if I let me reduce the resolution. So now, as you can see, you see that? So the big, it starts and it, it picks up like that. So now let's move on to the next footage. Sorry, to the next uh, shot. So we'll name this image two. So image two, don't forget, right click, time, freeze frame. We already got that. Now you need to mask again. I'm going to fast forward and meet you guys. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there. So here you can see that I already maxed myself out, but you will notice that I didn't max the ball out yet. Just so you know, I can always like I could have maxed both the ball and myself all together but I just want to give you guys a little tip so sometimes if you want to separate your mask all you want to do is just since you're still on that same layer just do your second after you've closed your first mask just go onto your second mask and whatever it is that you want to mask out is going to automatically right here it will create the second mask inside of it I'm going to show you that in a in a few so now I've closed the second mask let's go on to it let's press M you can see first mask which is the green which is me and the second mask which is the ball so now let us press F to feather both out five I'll do five five and just so you know I forgot to freeze frame so let us go time freeze frame so now that we've frozen the frame, don't forget, now you want to close bracket to delete whatever is left. So now I'm just going to go back and do a playback. So as you can see now, go back, get the ball. Cool, right? So see that? Uh-huh. Voila. Let's do the third one. I'll catch you guys again. So I've done the third one. Nice. So I'm just gonna do the last one. I'll catch you guys. Okay, so there you have it guys. I'm just gonna play it now. So you can see yo like that. Cool, huh? So that's pretty much it guys so and uh, don't forget that when you're dealing with each layer you can always spice it up i can what i can do is i can add maybe fill to some you know i can do that i can add maybe glow to some of you can do that you know you can pretty much just do anything that you want so it's up to you guys get creative and um yeah don't forget if you have any question put put them in the comments below or hit me up on instagram or our, uh, our telegram um group chat and um yeah uh don't forget to subscribe like tell your friends and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial all right ciao